Okay, so we have taken care of the sideline exercises. Let's have you flip over to all fours now, Daniel. So you can be on your hands and knees. Okay, so from here, you know, we, we learned when you were laying on your back um, about, you know, your pelvic tilts. Let's do some pelvic tilts now where from, from this position, first of all, you can just let your back sway like an old sway back horse. And, and that would be your belt buckle moving away from your chin, right? And now let's go the other way where your belt buckle moves towards your chin, okay? More like a mad cat, so your pelvis is going to be in this position, okay? But try to go to a little bit more of an extreme. Good, and then relax. So that's an anterior tilt. Remember how your belt buckle's going to the six o'clock, and now belt buckle up. You got it. And then we just want to make that motion, you know, bigger and bigger. So you can feel my hand right here, push into my hand. <clears throat> there you go. And eventually we want to get even more rounded than what you are right now. But just back and forth there to start kind of feeling that motion. Just want to do that about 10 times. There you go. Yeah, that one was a little better. You engaged your pelvis a little bit more. Even squeezing your glute muscles together when you're doing this is, is going to be helpful. Perfect. And then we do about 10 of those. And then from there, we can go back into a prayer stretch where you just um, rest your hips, your, your butt back there on your heels. There you go. And now you should be feeling a nice stretch through there. And this is something that you can do 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Again, people will work into doing this for several minutes just to, to stretch all of this stuff out. How does that feel, Daniel? Good. Good. So that's more, This is that was your warm-up, followed by a stretch, and then we're going to move on to some stabilization next.